Here's how to make an exit sign like this using 3D in Blender. Import a nice reference image and go ahead and use a knife tool to cut out the exit text. Delete the faces you don't need. Now select your text and extrude it in. Add a cube and adjust the size and position to match your sign. If you want, subdivide it a bit and then you can bevel the edges. Grab the exit text again, right click, separate by selection, extrude. Make sure it's interrupting your sign. On the sign layer, apply a boolean modifier. For the target object, select the exit text. Switch the solver to fast, then hide the exit text layer. There you go. Now let's make a wall. Add a plane. Use scale and position to match your reference photo or your imagination. And add another plane for the ceiling. Cool. Now go to your favorite place to find textures and grab something you want for the walls. I want a cubicle kind of look, so I'm going to import it into the base color. With the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, press Ctrl T and now you can adjust the size and look to your liking. Hook up the rest of your textures. Plug in the normal into the normal, duplicate your node wrangle and plug it into the new imports. Everyone gets one. Plug your roughness into your roughness and apply a color ramp. You can tweak this slider to get the right kind of reaction to light. Now add a displacement and let's get another wall texture. Now plug it into the base color. Same steps as before, wrangle that node, roughness, color ramp, normal, displacement, and boom. To have a subtle dolly zoom effect, keyframe the location and focal length of your camera in the beginning of your timeline. Now move ahead, adjust the camera position and focal length. For that dolly zoom, the camera is moving forward, the focal length should decrease. If the camera is moving backward, the focal length should increase. For your sign, add a new material. Get some surface imperfections. Plug in the normal. Use a normal map to adjust the strength. Find some more dirt. Add that to the roughness. Color ramp it. Just tweak and tweak and you'll have something like this. Copy the nodes and add it to a new material for the exit text. This time, change the emission color to red. For some extra security, plug a textured red image into the emission. A human saturation value and curves make it go a long way. Add a point light and make a point to put it behind the sign. Change the color to red and for a flicker, switch to the graph editor. You can add a noise modifier to the intensity or just manually keyframe the power. For some glow, go to the compositing tab, add glare. Change streaks to fog glow. Tweak the threshold and size. Now add another point light. This will be for the white sign. Make it hit the ceiling. Now scale the radius to your like. All right, final touches. Add some flies Ian Hubert style. Grab a sphere, scale it down, and use some sculpt tools to get a low poly fly look. Once you have a rough shape, add a plane and scale it down for a wing. Edit those vertices. Subdivide it to bring out a little tip. You can add a bevel modifier to round it out. Adjust the rotation and duplicate the layer for another wing. All right, texture it. Find a wholesome picture of a fly and plug it into the base color. Use a UV editor to scale the rough outline of a fly. For the wings, add a glass shader and a mix shader. Plug your glass and your principal into the mix shader. Mix shader goes into your material output. Download a fly wing and plug it into the base color, tweaking the UV editor. Lower the factor in your mix shader for a translucent look. And boom, a fly. Once that looks good, apply a particle sim to it. Tweak the scale to match how big the fly should be in your shot. And prepare to mess with every setting possible until you get a good result. But once you have something you like, bake it, and then export it out. And that's how you make an exit sign in Blender to get a shot like this.